we dramatize him. People see you as a seer, but you are not a seer. You see nothing. You are a bloody politician. My friend, stop this pretense and talk to me. Nonsense. Listen, I don't have time for all this. What is your problem? What is your problem? My problem is that you betrayed me, you betrayed the gods, you betrayed the people of Obodunku. I am supposed to be the next king. You have been delaying my crown. You have been delaying my coronation. And all of a sudden, your son is interested in the crown. He wants to become king. Now I see why you have been delaying my coronation. You are evil. I don't understand what you're talking about. I don't understand. What really are you talking about? My friend, stop pretending. Call a spade a spade. You have been delaying my coronation because you want your son to become king. How come all of a sudden your son is now interested in my crown? Quit this drama and tell people you are a bloody politician. Nonsense. You are evil as a moor. Watch your tongue. Young man, watch your tongue. Watch your utterances. For the least I will tolerate is you calling me names. How dare you? Are you not aware that Tobena declared interest? Are you not aware? May the forests, may the sea, may the land, may fire bear me witness. I am not aware of whatever wild chase Tobena is involved in. Not at all. I don't know, and I don't care to know. Stop he, that. He's enough to take care of himself. Stop pretending. You are the one grooming him. But tell Tobenna to quit that ambition, like you called it. It's a wild chase. Let him drop that ambition, else he will clash with me, and that means his life is in danger. <laughs> Compile an album now. Be very careful. I have spoken to you as a chief priest, as a true messenger of the gods. I've told you the truth and nothing but the truth. Like I said, tell your son to drop this ambition, else he will clash with me. Nonsense. Whenever the gods reveal the true candidate, I will let the kingdom know. I will let the Boduku know. You made yourself an enemy of the next king of Oboduku. What are you doing in my compound? I remind you no wolf of Boduku. I see no one as my enemy. Specifically, I have a message for you from Obu Efianon Weber. What does he want? He wants to have a meeting with you at his place. Has he decided to crown me king? I'm not in the position to respond to that. You had your no know. You should have found out before coming here, so that I will know how to dress before appearing. You can appear any way you like. You are the prince of Obodoku and entitled to all forms of appearances. Where exactly does he want to see me? Tomorrow, 12 noon. 12 noon. Good. Tell Obuifian Nunebe to do the needful by crowning me king. You know, there's no problem the gods cannot solve. This has absolutely nothing to do with the gods. Tell him to crown me king and end this once and for all. Let us meet at his place tomorrow, my prince. You never know what the gods are planning. Kingship is of the gods. It's not for contest. And I says as a day as a son of a man, or Kony Chimel is a cap and that's it for God. A day as a son of a man, and I says a 
Here to joke with you, Tobenda. No, I look like I came here to dance at your love. Where is my offer? You came into my palace and stole my offer. Tobenda, even if you don't have respect, you should have fear. Are you sick or some? I'm trying to understand if you are sick. Like, are you listening to yourself? I came to your palace and stole your offer under the watchful eyes of your guards, and nobody saw me. Yeah, you know where? Tobinda, now listen and listen real good. You have 24 hours to return that offer. Else, I will show you the other side of me. Else, you know what, Dan? So how did he go? The fool extended a hand of war. In other words, he is ready for whatever that is about to come to him. That is what his actions and words signifies. You know, it is time to take him out. Oh, so dear, may you have mentioned that before, but I don't want to go that route. Why wouldn't you go that route? You have to go to any length to get what you want. Listen, if you're not ready to do this, then I will do it myself. How do you intend to do that? There are people who will assassinate him without any trace. Oh, so dear, may. I will not allow you cripple yourself spiritual. Yes. Murder is the biggest crime in Igbo land. And any aspiring king or queen must not soil his or her hand to avoid being crippled spiritually. I don't understand you. You want to be king and yet you're not ready to kill your opponents. How is that possible? I was raised properly. In Obi, not just an Obi, but Obi as If you must become king or queen, you must come with clean hands. All those kings who killed their opponent to a match are the ones having all kinds of problems. If you must become king or queen, you must not soil your hands with blood, else you will be crippled spiritually. We can threaten them. But trust me, I'm not killing anybody because of this. Um, wise one, behold Tobenna and Prince Iguedo, they are now before you as you requested. Also, Indians of Boduku are here as witnesses. I summon both of you for this meeting because your recent display warrants such meeting. If for no other thing, at least for posterity's sake. Had it been I knew this boy would be here, I wouldn't have wasted my time attending this Same meeting. Same here, if I had known that this man that has been rejected by the gods is the reason you're calling me. I wouldn't have wasted my time. To be shut up. Oh, you make any? Shut up. Oh, you know what I Eh? How dare you talk when I'm talking? In Apwala? Look at this man, oh. What will you do? You pull a gun and shoot me. Oh, yeah? And I will make you understand there are some men, I mean, I'm one of those men who have demystified gunpowder. Yes. 
but they should have fell. Be careful. I can see you've grown wings, Tobena, but I will clip your wings. Challenge me! Challenge me in any kind of fights. Can dog vam vam vam? Can dog a siage dog dog oko oko? Please, can both of you comport yourselves? Let's hear a wave. He's the one that called for this meeting. We don't even know why he called us. He should be the one comporting himself. Lousy idiot. You think you can wake up and become king? You think you can wake up and become king? You that the God has rejected. Can you ever be? Your money cannot buy kingship, my friend. That is enough. That nonsense is enough. Enough of that nonsense from both of you. Talk to yourselves. Comport yourselves for your own good. What is your problem? But it was supposed to be your right to become a king of this kingdom. Was. That was in the past. But just yesterday, the gods revealed a proceeding that must be followed. What did the gods reveal? Papa, talk to me. It would have been him. The gods have changed the whole thing. Can you just shut up and listen? To Benna, my son. Papa. Oh, you're not my wife, but here's the boy. No, no, you're not going to go. No. Yes, wake up. Go and have your rest. You are wasting your time. Drop this idea, this unrealistic idea of dreaming to become a king. The king of Obuduku kingdom. It will not work. Because kingship does not run in our lineage. It's not there. Will you ever in this your life support me in anything? Of course. I have been supporting you in so many ways. I've been supporting you in your business, everything you do. Every Ekuku market day, I pray especially for your progress. And you've been progressing. And all of a sudden, you decide to turn to Judas. Hello, hello. Why can't you support me now? You cannot buy kingship with money. Why can't you support? This is the time I need your support. Never! Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Never! It will not work. I will never support you. Even at gunpoint, I will not. <laughs> oh, Wavy, this is the best thing you've said this year. In fact, I owe you one cow. You see? Thanks for telling this boy that he cannot buy royalty with money. I said it. He has bribed you. It does not oh, bribe your you lineage. But it's you unfortunate. Should. That you, my father, is working against your own son. This is forever, it's not by height. Get out of this place. I got money. How much do you even have? Useless betting money. See, you are, this is the best thing you've said this year. Uh -uh. Well, however it is, I am both of you should go. Compose yourself, I repeat it. Let us allow the gods to reveal the right candle. Voice of the gods. That man is beginning to constitute a problem for my husband and I, and I want him taken out. Let me have it. <laughs> 